Oh, hi. I'm in a big hurry because I'm late for school. Six. Breakfast time. Okay, I'm almost ready. Huh. All right, I just brushed my teeth and washed my face. I have my shirt on and my pants and I got my shoes. Wait, where are my shoes? Uh, uh, oh. Ha! I'm already wearing them! Ha! Oh, I gotta clean up my room. Ah, okay, Ignatz goes there and Horatio goes over here. Ah, oh, boy! There's always so much to do every morning. Ah, oh, wow. I'm breathing really fast. Hmm. Oh, I'll breathe into my microphone so you can hear. Hey, this is my microphone. It's a banana! <laughs> oh, there's my microphone. Ah, okay, now listen. Hear that? Wow, I'm breathing a lot of air in. A lot. But I wonder where all that air is going. Hmm, I just gotta know. When I breathe in air, where does it go in my body? Body, body. Sam, your oatmeal's getting cold. Okay, here I come. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> wrong door. <laughs> Closet. <laughs> Breakfast time. Okay, we have got to eat, sweetie. We don't want to be late for school. Mm, okay. Oh, I need to get to the office. Oh, just one thing, Mom. I was running around my room and realized that I was breathing really fast. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, Dad, let's do an experiment. Oh, an experiment? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm on it. Well, Dad, let's see if the same thing happens to your breathing when you go up and down your ladder. Alrighty. Dad going up. Dad going down. Dad back up. Dad back down. Dad going up. <laughs> Dad going down. Whoa, okay, that's enough of that. Well, how was it climbing the ladder? Well, it had its ups and downs. <laughs> okay, well, it certainly made me breathe faster. Yes, that happened to me too when I was cleaning up my room. Oh. And I want to know, when I breathe air into my body, where does it go? That's a great question, Sid. Tell you what, you eat and I'll answer. Oh, okay. The air you breathe in goes into your lungs. My what? <laughs> yeah, your lungs. They're inside your body, right here in your chest. Hmm. <gasps> okay, after I eat breakfast, I'm going to investigate lungs at school. I love my mom. Uh -huh. My mom is cool. Uh -huh. But now it's time for having fun at school. Yeah! <laughs> For you. There's Gabriella. Watch what I can do. Yeah! <laughs> Ready, set, go! Wow! I'm looking for my friends. I'm looking for you. Hey, there's Cheryl. Yeah! Check out my moves! <laughs> yeah! I'm a rock star! Cheryl in the house! Cool! I'm looking for my friends. I'm looking for you. Hey, there's May. to know everything about everything? That's you! Reporter with today's survey. The question, where does the air go in your body when you breathe in? And you can think about where the air goes too. Let's go get some answers. <laughs> oh, it's May. Hi, May. Hi, Sid. <laughs> hey, I have a question for you. What? Where does the air go in your body when you breathe in? Oh, I know. It goes down your throat and then down to your feet and back up and out of your mouth. Wow, okay. Thanks, May. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Gerald, what you drawing? Oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm drawing a moose that's juggling a bunch of apples. See, but um, well, I only drew the nose so far. Oh, well, so far, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Um, oh, I have a question. Where does the air go in your body when you breathe in? Oh. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, okay, I got it. Um, okay, first, the air comes in. <gasps> and then... 
in, and then it goes out through my nose. You know, just just like the nose on my moose. Oh, yeah, right, your moose. Thanks, Gerald. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, hey, Gabriella. Hello. Hey, where does the air go in your body when you breathe in? When I breathe air, <gasps> it goes into my belly. Then it kind of sits there for a while. And then it comes back out. Hmm. Thank you, Belly. <laughs> that sounds good. Thanks, Gabriella. Sure thing. <laughs> wow. Gabriella is a good dancer. <laughs> and now the results of my survey. May says she breathes in and the air goes all the way down to her feet. Gerald says the air he breathes in goes out through his nose. And Gabriella says she breathes in air and it goes to her belly. And maybe you thought about where the air goes when you breathe in. And there you have it. I am Sid, roving reporter and breathing expert. Everybody, rug time! Ooh, that's teacher Susie. Here we come! It's rug time. Come on in! Rug time. Take a seat. Rug time. We're ready! ready. Everybody, move your feet. Rug time. Teacher Susie! Good times on the way. Rug time. Come on in! We've got a lot to learn today! Forwards! <laughs> Backwards! Oh. Share something with the class. Ooh, um, well, this morning I asked my mom and dad where air goes when I breathe in. Then they told me it goes into somewhere called the lungs. Whatever they are. Well, they're right. Yeah? When we breathe in air, it does go to a place in our chest called the lungs. Here, look at this picture here. Ooh. Ooh. These are the lungs. Wow, they look like pink balloons. Oh, you're right, May. They do kind of look like balloons. Isn't it amazing that we all have lungs inside our bodies? Yeah. 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 Ah, and here's how you can feel what lungs do. Stand up. Oh. Come on. Oh, okay. Put your hands on your side like this. Okay. And okay. inhale. That means breathe in. <sighs> hey, hey, my body is puffing out. Yeah, that's your lungs filling up with air. Now we'll exhale, which means to breathe out. <laughs> my side goes down when I uh, exhale. Yeah, that's right. When you inhale and exhale, that's called breathing. Um, but Susie, why do we even need to breathe? Oh, good question. Well, we all need to breathe air because it has something in it that our bodies really need. It's called oxygen. Oh, yeah. well, if we need oxygen, then we better get it pretty quick. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <gasps> oh, whoa, oh, slow down. You don't need to try to get oxygen. Your lungs do the work without us having to tell them to. Oh. And your lungs work all the time. Even when we're asleep? Yes, even when we're asleep. Oh. Hey, you know, I think it's time to investigate different ways we use our lungs. Let's all go to the... Super Fab Lab! Right, grab your journals and let's go! Yeah. that lungs bring air in and out of our bodies. So now we're going to inhale and exhale and observe some things that happen when we move air with our lungs. Oh, wait. Wait, I have to get my lungs ready, okay? <sighs> <sighs> okay, all ready. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So you can use your lungs to blow bubbles in cups of water using Ooh, a straw. That's cool. Blow at the pinwheel. Oh, yeah. And blow soapy bubbles. Hi, Oh, can we start, Susie? Please, can we start, please? Oh, I'm glad you're so excited to investigate, scientists. But first, let's calm down using our lungs. Everybody, inhale. Now exhale a deep breath out. And relax. Great. Now, let the lung investigation begin. Okay. Uh, it's time for the lung investigation. Let's observe what happens when we inhale and exhale with our lungs. Try blowing through a straw into a cup of water. What happens when you blow softly? Oh, you make little bubbles. What happens when you inhale and then blow out stronger? Ooh, you make really big bubbles. Try using your lungs to blow party favors. You have to inhale and then exhale for a long time to make the party favors stretch all the way out. Good job. 
Here's something else you can use your lungs to do. Blow soapy bubbles. If you want to make a pinwheel spin, you have to inhale really deep and then exhale for a while. Here's a big challenge. Ask a grown-up for a balloon and try blowing it up. It's not easy. It takes a lot of inhaling and exhaling to blow up a balloon. When you're done, hand your balloon back to a grown-up. And now you can draw pictures in your journal of your favorite way to use your lungs. Was it blowing up a balloon, blowing bubbles, or making a pinwheel spin? All right, scientists, I can't wait to see what kinds of observations you made when you used your lungs. <gasps> Sid, may we take a look at your journal? Oh, sure. Um, well, it was easy to blow bubbles in the water. I went, and then I tried to make the pinwheel spin. And I had to breathe a lot of air into my lungs and exhale a lot to make it spin fast, but I did it. Oh, your lungs worked hard. Good job, Sid. Thank you. Okay, May, let's look at your journal. Okay. Um, I blew lots of soapy bubbles, and I had to blow really slowly to make a big bubble. <laughs> As you exhaled more and more, the bubble got bigger and bigger. Yes! <laughs> now I know another way you can all use your lungs. How? You can all go and play with all your new ideas. Yeah! We'll use our lungs. <laughs> 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 And now, it's time for Susie to sing Go Susie! Wow, you all have some strong lungs. Yeah, yeah. And our lungs work for us all the time when we're awake and asleep. All right now, you've had a busy day of running around. Yeah. So relax a bit and sit down. Okay. okay. It's time to take a rest. Breathe in, breathe out. It's a natural thing that's always happening. Breathe in, breathe out. In peaceful rhythm now. Inhale, exhale. Let the oxygen come on in. Breathe in, breathe out. In peaceful rhythm now. Your body needs Oxygen to operate. Breathe in, breathe out. It happens naturally. Well, I think that's great. Giraffes and whales fill up their lungs. People and animals, old and young. Breathe in, breathe out. As steady as the rain, it's controlled by your brain. Breathe in, breathe out, in peaceful rhythm now. Ah, cool. And now I'm going to take a deep breath and fill my lungs with air to tell you all something. My scientists did a great job today! Yay! 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 And now it's time to go home. Let's go! Okay. Ah. Breathe in. <laughs> Here, Grandma. Ooh. 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 Mm. Now, okie doke, let's roll. Let's roll. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Ah. Backseat driving with Grandma. Oh, yeah! Ah. Ah, so, how was your day, kiddo? Well, today we learned that we breathe in air. And that brings oxygen into our lungs. Oh, you got that right. Hey, Sid, did you know there's even a way people can breathe underwater? What? People can breathe underwater? Yeah, they sure can. One of my favorite hobbies is scuba diving. You breathe into a tube that's connected to a tank full of air. That way you can swim underwater. You still use your lungs to breathe in, but now you're getting air and oxygen from the tank. It's so much fun. And once when I was scuba diving, I saw a large whale. Yeah. Now, even though whales swim underwater without a tank, they still have lungs to breathe. They inhale and exhale through their big blowhole that's on the top of their head. That's their nose. That is so awesome, Grandma. I want to go scuba diving one day just like you. Oh, you're going to love it, Sid. <laughs> I learned something cool, something cool today. I know it upside down and inside out. I learned all 
about? <laughs> so much about breathing today, and we all use our lungs to breathe in oxygen. Wow, you learned a lot today. Mm -hmm. And I know another way you can use your lungs. Ooh, how? Well, can I borrow your microphone? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Oh, uh, not me. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce an amazing person who shall now wow you by using her lungs. Let's give a warm backyard welcome to your sensational singing mom! Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> blow, blow, blow the air gently from your lungs. Merrily, 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 breathing's really fun. Yay! Yay. Yay. Today was amazing. I learned that we use our lungs to inhale and exhale. <sighs> and our lungs help us get oxygen from the air. Plus, I found out that even the huge whale that Grandma saw underwater inhales and exhales. And when a whale exhales, watch out! Because <laughs> it shoots a lot of air from its blowhole way up into the sky! Woo-hoo! <laughs> hmm, that got me thinking. Okay, I've got it. Here's my super duper ooper schmooper. Big idea! I'm gonna invent the Exhale Whale Water Park. It'll be a really fun ride that kids and grown-ups can go on. See, it'll be like a big robot whale that inhales lots of air. And after the lungs fill up with air, the whale will exhale. Then whoosh, a whole bunch of air will shoot out of its blowhole. So you just put your raft on top of the blowhole and wait for the whale to exhale. And then, you get a ride up into the sky. You can also get a really, really big raft and get all your friends and family together. And then you wait for the robot whale to inhale a lot and whoosh, y'all go flying up into outer space. Yay, the exhale whale will be awesome. And that's my super duper uber schmooper big idea. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I have to have a lot of air in my lungs to say, I am Sid the Science Kid. And remember, keep asking lots and lots of questions. <sighs> Woo, I did it. <laughs> See you later, scientists. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>